Virgo. This is your mid-November to December read. Oh, that's Carrie Ear. Yay. So, Virgo, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts if this resonates with you a good deal. If not, don't worry about it. It's just a card game, right? You just boop your nose and away it goes, right? Also, cross watch your switch where you need to because I have no idea what's going on in this stuff. I also like to cuss, so don't watch my shit if, you, if, if you're going to get offended, you know, just saying. Mm. Newcomers. Want a personal read? Down in the description box below. Also, because I'm eating cheesy breads, so that's why it's taking me so long to talk. Your first reading's on the house. Everything else comes with the price, of course. And I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Okay, so. Virgo, you got justice. You might be dealing with a Libra. Or a Libra who feels like they're in the right. Some shit like and the situation's got the Queen of Cups here, where it's just like someone's feeding someone else some bullshit in order to feel comfortable or to have a place somewhere. It's like their intentions aren't true with this Queen of Cups. Might even be poison in that cup. You never know. Your wants and wishes is a Queen of Wands. Could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries, right? Or maybe you just want to look good, you know? But your obstacle and challenge is this happy ending with this family and all this shit, right? It's just like, mmm, I have these people. I'm taken care of, but damn, would it be good if I could be by my fucking self, you know? Fears and rejections, the lovers reverse. I, I think you're afraid of breaking up with someone, Virgo, for reals. And you're trying to keep all this shit under the hats with what's coming full circle, with how this shit starts, how it'll end with the high priestess of Pisces energy. And we also got Gemini up here as well. Also, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and shit. Beginning theme, the Two of Cups. How does this relationship feel for you? you know, how does it make you feel as though you are truly of service to anything but yourself? Mm. Within the ask that question, you also have to ask yourself what service can you provide in order to correct this? But, you know... If you're not in the energy to correct shit. Hmm. So let's see what this justice card, Virgo. Because I think you want to feel justified, but, you're, but the family is your blockage. And it's like, you're afraid of separating. At the same time, we got these motherfuckers over here. You know? Ah, someone's afraid to face the devil. Could be Capricorn or Leo in this as well. In order to explain that y'all just don't work the fuck out. It's like, mm, how am I supposed to tell somebody I'm scared of that I don't want to deal with them anymore? I feel like you're afraid of getting intimidated, man, honestly. Like, a great deal. Hmm. Situation with this Queen of Cups where someone's feeding bullshit. There's going to be a change that brings disaster of some sort, or shocking disaster. And people are going to kind of be lost on what to do emotionally. I'm pulling one more on that, because that's like, what? Oh, because they manufactured this stuff without really paying attention to what they were manufacturing. So let's see. I just adjusted my legs, damn it. That's way too many cards. I'll read that stuff, but not this stuff. Oh, I hate when they fall on the floor like that, because then I gotta reach. I'm like, I'm not short, I'm just lazy. You know, someone left their turtle behind to just be like, hey, um, good times, but fuck you. You know, I don't think they wanted to put up a fight with anybody, because they already felt mauled in the situation, and they just barely got out alive. That's your card, Virgo. And at the moment, you're thinking about that rose and those two cups right there. Right? Like, what else could I be invested in right now that I feel like my services would be spectacular in? And who do I think will be 
the most compatible for me to deal with to where I won't get pissed off every time they do something wrong, you know? So this Queen of Wands, Sag, Leo, Aries, of course. You know, they're trying to come out of this bad trap state as it is, and they will manifest that shit if they need to. So yeah, Virgo, you're trying to get yourself to a position here where you're just good as gold. Or some shit, right? The obstacle and challenge, though, is the Ten of Cups. It's like the family is a blockage. It's like you can't get past this. You do need to start something new here. It doesn't matter what the connections are. If you don't start anything new, you're going to end up going fucking crazy. That's uh, that like it, It's going to drive you bitter and crazy. And then you're going to be going out looking for reasons to show why you're bitter and crazy. And that might not be the best investment you have in mind, Virgo. I'll just say... And that might not be good for your hurrah, if you will. All right, fears and rejections with the lovers reverse. Gemini's card, right? There's a fear um, that there'll be separation, and then you got to go back on the market. It's just like, look at my fish. Ha-pow! You know, just look at my fish. It flops just for you. <laughs> just for you. It just makes, does little tricks. Like, someone wants to show you their tricks. Uh, hint, hint. If you get my drift, you might put yourself back on the market, and that, and there you are in here, Virgo, as a stable grounding for justice right here in Justice's card. Also, could be Libra you're dealing with as well. Uh, I think you're afraid of breaking up here, but at the same time, it's like someone wants to flop their uh, fish at you. They're very long, um, well-trained fish, if you will. I'm giving you hints. Virgo, go for the booty, you know? <laughs> I think you're afraid of the separation, but I think you're gonna be okay, dude. Like, I don't think you're gonna be worried too much, man. I think you're tripping just a little bit, but you have a reason to be afraid because you're facing the devil, too, so maybe I should chill a little bit. Hi, Priestess! How this shit goes around, how it comes around, how it makes full circle for this cycle. There you is, in the dark with your shit, to be like, yeah, I'm stable. But you don't need to know that. I'm like, <laughs> uh, hmm. But it's like an endless loop where you're staying in the dark with your feelings, Virgo. Or what potential you have to offer to people, too. Hmm. I'm dropping one more. You might also be in the dark about this endless cycle you don't know about. And that might be what's keeping you in a state of stagnation. And your ending theme... You! You're really looking to see, like, is this a real treasure right here? Is this a real relationship? Because she's looking at this and protecting her belly. Like, you're not getting in here. I don't know how... Um, Floppy your fishes, good sir. Um, but if it's a whale, you know, like, we'll talk. You know, but a specific whale. It's got to be the right measurements, the right worth, or else, like, you know, we, we can't handle that shit, right? Like, like. Do you organize your clothes? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was thinking of my mom. She's a Virgo. She's also insane, but I love her. Anyway, let's clarify real quick, right? Yeah, someone feels like they got, they left somebody to drown. I think you're afraid of doing that to somebody, Virgo. I think you're at this place where, like, you're ready to leave, but you're really worried about what'll happen to the person if you leave. You might have been taking care of them this entire time. Like, that's your thing, Virgo. You know, like, you're the caretaker of people, you know, like, Taurus, they, like, invest in themselves. Capricorn is all about everybody works for me. You know, that's just how Capricorn is. You are the, one of the few signs that actually um, indulges yourself by um, taking care of those around you. That is your greatest gift. You're really good at it. The only thing is, it's a fault, too, because, like, once you get so invested in a person as an earth sign, it's really hard for you to let them go. But you will fucking taunt them as they walk the fuck out your door, you fucking will. Like... It'd just be like, your emotions are fucking stupid. Why are you telling me about them? I mean, unless, like, I don't understand what you're talking about. That's, like, that's the thing about Virgos, right? Like, with a Virgo, 
They will sit there and listen to you, but they will listen to you in order for it to make sense to them in order to figure you out. <clears throat> like, you could tell them a story, and they will sit there and analyze that story and then ask you questions back to make sure that they're understanding the information. And a lot of people don't understand that about Virgos, you know? Like, they're not trying to be prissy. They're not trying to be um, control freaks. They're not trying to be... in Clues. Well, I mean, they, they can be, but they're not really trying to be dicks in this situation, you know. Like they're trying to understand your point of view from their point of view. And a lot of people tend to miss that. And Virgo, from your point of view right here, I feel like you're scared you're going to leave someone to drown. And that's just against your nature. You're just like, my, my whole thing is I take care of people. How can I do this to this person? And I think that's what's got you trapped up in your shit a little bit, right? Because you're using your beliefs to justify why you're sitting there, um doing whatever but um the thing is virgo i think this person's drowning without you even having to do a damn thing like this person is drowning it's just your beliefs are keeping the, you there in order to cater to them because it's just kind of like you know uh i take care of people in really fucked up ways though because sometimes virgo you, you like you don't understand what fair is but that's like beside the point like you are a sign of justice not a sign of uh, fairness i will say because there is a difference. So let's see. Down below in the situation. Yeah. Um, some empress is really fucking angry. But she's got to let that shit go. Like nah. Like, you created this mess. But that's okay. Because I need to go somewhere. Um, Virgo you could be this empress person. And it's just like. I, I can't do this. I need to take my ducks. I need to raise them in a much better environment. I'm letting you go. Or that's what you're going to have to do once you figure this person out a little bit. Now, they might have even, like, left you to drown and then used your beliefs against you to teach you, oh, well, this is how it is. My dad would do that to my mom all the time because he's a pastor. Like, she'd be sitting there arguing with him and he'd just come back, oh, well, the Bible says. And it's just like, what the? And my mom would just be like, okay, boomer, what the fuck does, <laughs> what does the Bible have to do with anything? I'm asking you why you didn't fix the sink six years ago, you know? One of those things where it's just like, it, it just comes out of nowhere. It's just like, what does the Bible have to do with fixing my damn sink, bro? Yeah. Over in the wants and wishes, you're going to have to learn to embrace a lion or embrace your dark side a little bit, your shadow side, in order to open up for new love, Virgo. Hmm. Down below in the obstacle and challenge, I think you're afraid to take a leap of faith because you can't see the bottom of the cliff. Or you're afraid you're going to end up like falling off a cliff with no extra ledge. And it's like you're trying to foresee that shit. It's like a prediction. It's intuition. It's just like, oh, no. Uh, no, no, no. But I don't think this is as intuition as much as it is. Um... Mm, what am I trying to say? It's kind of like... Uh... Let's say you've been in, like, abusive relationships, and then you end up in one that's not abusive, period. Like, maybe not even at all, right? But it's still a shitty relationship because it's like the person doesn't take you into consideration. They don't value what you think, what you say, what you put in. And it's like... Because... You're used to somebody treating you almost like you're nonsense it's like it's hitting an instinct you know not necessarily an actual trigger but it's like causing your instinct to kick in and be like oh no if i leave the situation i'm gonna get uh screwed entirely but that's not the fucking case you're not taking a leap of faith because it's like you're recalling something that you're feeling out it's like a hyper vigilance if you will you feel hyper vigilant in here and it's triggering stuff in in your head that's making you go like oh is this the same shit that happened all over again oh my god and then like it's keeping you from taking a leap of faith because you're not looking at the cliff the way you should virgo or cross watcher whichever one let's see fears and rejections virgo you might have to walk your ass out of the cold or you're watching how other people save themselves if you will because they get tired of sitting at this uh crossroads as well i think it's just the stretch you know as a fellow earth sign i understand investment and how long that shit takes and all that but i'm telling you as a capricorn right now man like you don't have to continue an investment if you don't feel like it's giving you anything back that's worth the value right 
Like, who gives a shit how much you invested? You have a testament now. Um, you have a solid foundation. Even if this shit ends, you know, you can still carry the pride and be like, I did this. I did that. I did everything. And motherfucker didn't do shit. You know, like, you have the right to do that all you want, man. Like, killing, like, destroying a foundation does not mean failure. Sometimes it means that you have to start over to create something better. All right, final card, y'all. Then we're done. Yeah, like, you want to separate. Definitely lover's reverse. You're just like, eh. You know, you want to get this shit over with so you can drop the swords and heal yourself. I don't even think that, like... I don't think you're happy with your person, period, Virgo. Like, you're at this point now where it's like, you're just sticking around out of moral um, obligation. Then you are, um... Because they make you happy or they make you feel loved. If I may state that, you know, like I don't want to intrude, but it's kind of like, you know, mm. like how much do you love a person in order to allow them to keep you at a standstill so you can't grow, you know? Do you stick around with this person instead of going for love? Or do you stay where you're at based on fear? You know? That's the real questions in this. But that's for you to decide, Virgo. Other than that, we're done. So, if you enjoyed this reading, you may like, share, and subscribe as much as you would like. No pressure, of course, but it would definitely make me happy if you did so. Anyway, I love your guys' faces. You take it easy, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.